kill him? Oh my. This is the discount capybara. <laughs> so weird. Metabolic bone disease. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have two Kevins now. Your bonzo bean solos the baby though. It's not even a question. Oh. Good morning, everybody. I'm here with Nibblerton. I call him Nibblerton. Either way, it's Valentine's Day and I'm reading a devotional. Based Nibblerton reading the scriptures? This is my second week of having this little creature. He's gotten pretty comfortable with me and I honestly kind of love this little thing. I give him a mix of leafy greens, rodent pellets. I also am going to go down to the river pretty soon to get some of those actual reeds that they eat. But they also eat tons of roots. And today we're doing a creature feature on these adorable little fellas. This is the discount capybara. The dollar store capybara right here on my lap. As you guys can see, Mutri are basically beavers but without the flat tail and the babies look like adult muskrats. Come to think of it, this could just be what? an adult that muskrat oh, living no, in my goes. home. And there's Homelander pecking on my window per usual. And what was once a great farmed alternative to beaver pelts and meat has now become an invasive nightmare in the U.S. But they basically are just little beavers with rat tails. Adult muskrats are basically this size. And just like my little clappy blaps, if you scratch them in just the right spot, they'll close their eyes and open their mouths. This is what his creepy little teethers look like. They got yellow teeth just like beavers. But beavers can only reproduce once per year and these guys can almost do it three times. This made farming nutria a great alternative to beaver pelts, a dollar store version if you will. Before you all go cringe, this was the backbone of American society prior to the 1900s. Wars were fought and lives were lost over primo beaver territories. So when the Frenchies found out about this dollar store South American alternative, less beavers had to die and the market subsequently crashed. Most nutria farmers retired by by releasing their babies into the wild, where they cost millions of dollars in damage to the watershed every year. And that's why little Nibblerton won't be going back to the wild after we're done raising him. And Louisiana even put a bounty on him where you can get six dollars per tail. Precious little creature. But it doesn't take much to make rodents love you, you guys. Just like Biggerton, you can just scratch them and give them their favorite snack and then they'll love you for forever. Look, he stopped eating. And I like giving him the cubes because he can hold it in his little hand. Oh my goodness. And the last thing I'll show you guys is their duck-like webbed feet. Look at that. Guys, they've got little cat eyes. That's so weird. What a strange little creature this is. There's Kevin, but now that this little... Oh, that's his little noise. Now that this little guy's a bit older, I can go ahead and let him out here to play. We still need to hook up the filter for this pond here. I'm sure this little guy's been missing the sunlight because he's been inside for a while. But look how well he just floats and glides along the water, you guys. These little creatures were just designed for swimming. Women. Figure this water's already disgusting. We're gonna have to do a water change pretty soon anyway. These minnows are doing really well in here though. Look at how he just climbed up here on his own. I'm gonna let him hang out out here for today so he can eat all this grass. Oh, but look, he just dove under. Oh, and then he just appeared way up over there. That's so cool. Oh, look. At and Kevin doesn't like him one bit. Oh, this little place is perfect for that. Especially once we can finally filter the water. But look how happy this little fella is to be getting some sunlight again. And he can finally eat all of this grass that's out here too. This will give them a much more balanced diet than me just feeding them rodent pellets. When they're babies, they're real trusting of everything. That's it for now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave him right here. I could open this up for them if I close it from the other side. Because of this cool log that we have here, he can climb out whenever he wants. Well, he's trying to at least. I think he's going to figure it out. There you go, buddy. And you can always just climb in and out with this little ramp here. Until we get any injured marsh birds or shorebirds or herons or egrets, we can have these guys in here for a while. Come to think of it, these guys would actually cohabitate pretty pretty well with marsh birds and shorebirds. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the dollar store capybara. Wow, look how happy they are, you guys. There's so much grass for them to eat. And I don't really mind them being out here as long as they take care of the place. But what's cool is I can keep an eye on the cappies from in here while I'm bottle feeding my little boo-boo. This is my son name of boo-boo, you guys. Oh my goodness. Pla is literally climbing my foot. And like I said earlier, these guys can go wherever they want in the backyards now. Oh. Okay, I'm wetting this towel so I can latrine the new boo-boo. And I moved some of this foliage to the side so that Gustavo can actually be seen. Because we don't want to undo all of the training that happened at Sean's place for church camp. But look how precious this creature is. Okay, guys, this is day two of feeding boo-boo. Actually, this is day 30 of feeding boo-boo. Boo-Boo's been around for a while now. Boo-Boo actually came into All Things Wild 20 days ago now. Like I said in the last video, he's an Axis deer, so it doesn't make sense for As a wildlife rehab to rehab him. And he doesn't mind if we... But 
This will be his first time meeting Patrick. Oh, but look at how cute these two are together. Oh my goodness. Why does he keep chewing on the fence like this, you guys? Look at him nibbling on that little rock. Precious little creature. And this man don't think about much because he's just a little baby. He just likes to be scratched on his little head or under his little adorable chin. Patrick used to be even cuter than this almost. Oh, but look at this, you guys. They're friends. But this is a pretty nice setup and these guys seem to be pretty happy in here for now. Come on, pal. Here you go. There you go, buddy. An excellent toss, if I do say so myself. Come on, buddy. If only I could get him to swim over here like he used to. I don't know what you were teaching him over at church camp, Sean, but he is not coming up to me. Let's see if I can throw this on his mouth again. There you go. It's floating under your chest. Yeah, look who's back, baby. Gustavo's back, baby. Yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go. Who's my little baby boy? <laughs> Take a look at the undercarriage of this specimen, Come you guys. On, what a beautiful boy. Look at that, you guys. Look how beautiful this creature is. Sure hope this creature doesn't bite my finger, because he easily could. But look how perfect he is, you guys. And he's so much healthier than he was when we first got him. When we first found this fella, he was emaciated and shaken like a little banshee from metabolic bone disease. And now he's very happy in here on his very own little paradise. But look how cute he is with his little mouth sitting on his nose. The Morlets croc or the Mexican croc is a really close relative to the American crocodile, which is the only species of crocodile that we have here in the US. A bite with those teeth would hurt you, but it wouldn't send you to the hospital. He's still just a little baby. But if you guys remember when we found him, he was missing half of his teeth. A precious little creature. Okay, I'll stop bothering him and I'll leave him alone. Now that the filter's been running for a while, it's cycled and should be safe for me to put just about any fish we want in there. For the time being, Master Ugwe and his wife are still in here and they're very happy. Give them a couple cactus pads every day and they seem to annihilate these things. They really love eating these things. Get pranked, Mrs. Ugwe. Look, she's been eating a ton. But goodbye, Gustavo. But for the most part of the day, just like in the wild, Boo Boo here just likes to sleep inside his little kennel. And these guys still haven't run out of fresh grass to munch on. And these guys are getting a little too comfy under the couch nowadays. But the mom is no longer being a stinker and we've officially won her over. I think after having seven kitties, she just got tired. And most of these guys are pretty friendly, but this one is angry. Look at him hissing at me. Oh, hippy moment. Boo boo running around the yard for today. Boo boo eating the grass for today. I don't think he knows how to actually eat the grass though. He is getting little bites. Boo boo meeting Kevin for today. Boo boo running away. Boo boo chewing the fence for today. Praise God, boo boo is eating again. I always get so nervous when they skip a feeding. I still have to treat him every now and then for diarrhea. Please be keeping Boo Boo in your prayers. Did I really catch you not liking this video or praying for Boo Boo? But if Boo Boo starts skipping feedings again, I'm going to bring her down to All Things Wild or give her to a friend of mine that's an expert on raising these little babies. Because I got too many things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. I can't take another little Boo Boo passing away, you guys. And this thing wouldn't be here if it wasn't going to die. These animals only come to me when they're dying in the first place okay guys so i don't want to i don't want you all to be in the comments going oh i miss boo boo you know what its name's not it doesn't even have a name don't even call it boo boo also this is for educational purposes but you have to go ahead and rub the inside of their thigh like this and that's how the poop comes out very important that you guys do that everyone wants to be the animal guy everyone wants to have a deer but nobody wants to rub their butts anyways you guys i'm training these little guys to be calm and normal around this little fella how queen is getting a really good snip. The goal is going to be for these guys to spend a lot of time with him. So when the time comes, he's not going to be super skittish around them. Because long term, we need to have these dogs protecting the property. And they can't do that very well if they're scaring these little guys into fences. I think this is one of my foxes. That is one of my foxes right there. Look at that. This little gray fox got 15 feet away from me and stared at me for a long time. And this is so close to where I released the six that we rescued earlier this now year. living a happy life out here. Good evening, everybody. It's a lovely night out tonight. But oh my goodness, look at this little creature. He doesn't even care that I'm shining a big light in his face. Also, I'm eating yogurt, but I had a fire here and there's a lot of diesel still on the ground. And baby and garbanzo beans like to mess around with each other. Garbanzo beans solos baby though. It's not even a question. 
question. Oh, let's get out of here, Garbanzo beans. I love this duck. It's nice that they can run around, you guys. I really do like that. Also, look at small pounds swimming around in there. And this man just wants to kill me. Oh my gosh, he just wants to kill me for no reason. And I'm just trying to eat my dang yogurt. Just because your son kicked you out and stole your wife doesn't mean you get to take it out on me, Kevin. And even with all of this extra space, now they just want to go where they're really not supposed to go. She's just got a whole living creature in her little pouch. Oh, finally. Okay. Let's see if Kevin comes over to here whenever I put some food in their bucket. Oh my goodness. Look, it's like Soldier Boy is getting his dad's jeans. Oh my gosh, we have two Kevins now, you guys. Don't do it, Soldier Boy. Once he does this, it's all... Oh! Once I get bit by him, it's all over. Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh my gosh, it's worse because it's less dull. It's way sharper. Oh, we have two Kevins now, you guys. There are two Kevins here on this property. Even Karen is still, oh my gosh, that hurts, you guys. If you can see here, there's a little bit of a shark point, sharp point on that beak right there. You see that? For Kevin, that's gotten really dull. And even he is attacking the, <laughs> he is the spinning image of his father. And I guess this proves that it is genetic because not all male Rhea are like this, you guys. This proves completely that it is genetic. So this proves the theory that even if I had raised Kevin as a baby inside, he still would have grown up to be a horrible, goofy little thing. And it wasn't until literally this week that he became awful like this. He's literally just a cuter version of his papa. There are now two Kevins in the world. But there they are. Look at the two of them together. Oh my gosh. Stop and even though these two, two cohabitate Don't pretty well, they will it. get into oh little gosh, pecking order that. disputes like this what every now and then. on earth? This is father and son. And look, he's scaring him away from the food. At least they can temporarily set their differences aside to eat. And now, you guys, I can see them from my bedroom. And sadly, I can hear them from my bedroom as well. So I'm going to stop feeding them at night. Hello, Karen. Do you want a glizzy? I can now sit here and watch them eat from my adorable little window. And it's only a matter of time before all the flies from their poop take over my home. My last chore for the night, filling up the water in my front porch for my big chipkin. Hello, ho -wedo. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night, Homelander. Uh... Hey, hey, Urban Airway Rescue Ranchers. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, ooh, I almost forgot to tell you.